So today we're going to watch some behind the scenes footage from a sparring session between Sneeko versus Nate Diaz. Just days after taking a beating from Sean Strickland, Sneeko traveled to Stockton, California and spent an entire day training and sparring against Nate Diaz and other members of Team Diaz. In this video, we're going to watch some actual sparring footage of Sneeko versus Team Diaz. Then we're going to see Sneeko's immediate reaction after sparring Nate Diaz. And at the end of this video, Nate Diaz gives his reaction to Sneeko versus Sean Strickland and tells Sneeko what he needs to work on to become a better fighter. I'll leave timestamps in the description of this video, but anyway, let's get into it. So Sneeko started off by sparring against Nate Diaz's teammate Jose Aguayo. Jose has a professional MMA record of 5-3 and, and is currently signed to the PFL. So when it was time to spar against Nate Diaz, Nate told Sneeko he had to switch off the live stream. Sneeko came back online about an hour later and gave his immediate reaction after sparring a few rounds against Nate. What if you started paying yeah. right now? We don't pet. Yeah. Right, let's turn it back on and we'll, we'll get down after we start it back on. Should I turn it off now? Yeah, turn it on. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay. So, all right, chat, we're going to end now. We'll be back in probably an hour or something like that. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah. Man, get out of space. Listen to this, man. Get out of space. This is amazing. Call us, man. We can take a chance. We can do this in LA. Call us. 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 <laughs> yeah, I went, but let's get it. That did pretty good. You know what I'm saying? You know where I'm from. You know what I'm talking about. He let me work. That was work. Thank you. He let me work. That wasn't any competition. Back up a little for him. Yeah, it's just three rounds, one of the best of all time. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't get gassed out. But that's proper sparring. And I understand why they don't want us to film it because they're going to judge that and be like, oh, are you at Seiko hitting you with the... It's all... It's all in. Or he's doing like 20 rounds. He's going back to back to back to back to back. So during the day, Nate Diaz also had a very personal conversation with Sneeko and advised him on what skills he should be training to become a better fighter. Nate also gave his reaction to the sparring session between Sneeko and Sean Strickland. I want to learn the Stockton Slap too while I'm here. This is the place to learn. There's no learning to do a Stockton Slap. It speaks for itself. You just got to This is a slap. Mm -hmm. Slap him. You all don't know, actually, a couple times I slap people. I don't intentionally try to slap people all the time. Yeah. But one time, I forget how I fight it. I'm sparring and I threw a hug. And I think it was Connor. I don't know. I threw a hug at Connor like this. And he was like, right out the way. So, so move your head back from where I don't look. So I opened my hand, so I still got him. I like, got you, bitch. <laughs> so that, I've been doing that forever, though. That, that's why, like, I'm not out there just slapping on people. I'm like, oh, damn it. So boxers get right out the way. Yeah. It was just to get to, get into the range. Yeah, because I'm like, because I'm like, and he's right out of range. Look at Everybody's over, man. Play, I got you, motherfucker. What's up? And then they, and then they build, but people gotta, they get, you gotta count them after you were slapped. Yeah. I saw you do that. They fucked up when they tried to get me. I'm like, come get me. When we were at the club, some guy was like getting all up in your space trying to take a picture. Yeah. And yo, Nate just goes like, just as fuck me, man. Just like, just push him away. You gave him a little stop. Oh, he was in my fucking face. Stopping yeah, me just from like, going like, giant phone. walking out. Yeah. But that one we were leaving, huh? It's hard to uh, realize like what you start with, you know, if you're just getting into MMA. Yeah. You think like I'm I'm too old or should I just focus on one thing? I'm 25. Should I do MMA, boxing, like I would do grappling, jiu-jitsu, and boxing all at the same time and learn kickboxing while you're at it, you know what I'm saying? 
everything. I would do that. I would do everything, but I would make sure you stuck to a base watch, try to get just as strong. But never leave that sprint. Like when I started training, I started going to jiu-jitsu class every single day. We'd do our whole grappling class, and then afterwards, we would spar. MMA some days, kickbox some days, boxing some days. And then I started on the boxing gym. And my brother, because he was fighting already when I was starting, we went to boxing gym and we would be boxing three days a week, four days a week, five days a week, and do that for like, I'd do like five days a week of boxing when I was a teenager, and then five days a week of jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu class and then boxing after or earlier in the day. So I would, I'd, I'd straight in those two bases. It's crazy seeing how good your cardio is because like you're smoking a blunt out here. That's one thing that you, you always see with Nate's fights. This guy doesn't gas out, man. Like no matter what round it is, like, you never look tired. Do you think it's like a mental thing? Or how are you able to, to sustain that long? Because even when I'm sparring now, like I, I be getting tired. I've just done more work than everybody. I feel like I'm more comfortable. And they, they, like you're training all the time, no matter what the circumstances. It's like it's more you're more comfortable in the fire, right? So I think I just spend more time doing this. Like it, I think cardio is is a is a art also, a martial art also. It's an art. Yeah, like you have to understand, and know how you work. You, you can't just be going full full blown if you're fucking not in the condition to be going full blown. You gotta be able to control how hard you're going. That's what I'm saying. The more I've done it, the more I do, which is more than everybody, the more comfortable I get, so I can control myself in uncomfortable shit. I can keep it. You keep that and you wear it when you spar with people. <laughs> so they run all over you. That's fucked up. That's not how you do it. You, you come to the boxing gym, you know all your gear, your gun protector, your headgear, and your shoes, and you're all right. Sean said he didn't want to use headgear. I, I said to him, yeah, hey, can we use headgear? He's like, I don't use it. So. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, he ain't sparring good people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of the don't get worse. We want motherfuckers to really hate you. Yeah. And then the less, the less damage you take in the training, the more training you can do. So, you look here. That's stupid. Thanks, man. Good, good work, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hey, Nate, look, Nate, let me work. Trust me, he won. He won. Uh, it was really light. And even though we didn't get to put on shame, it would not have been like as entertaining as you think. That was, it was good work. Yeah, we did work. Yeah. Thanks, man. <clears throat> what you think I gotta work on the most? You gotta, you gotta get an experience, more training. Like you know, what I'm saying, like I know you're trying to uh, learn what you can and shit, but you you gotta learn a little bit. Train, learn a little bit, train a lot, learn a little, bit, train a lot, and it all adds up, you know. So it more makes sense once you do the work. Specifically, like, like how the, how the NBA, NBA players still need to dribble the ball with fucking scrimmage, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If I get, get to it and fucking, the move you, the move you learn will fall into place when you're, when you're in there feeling, okay, when I'm here it works, when I'm there it works, you know? Part of just learning, just going and try when you have no clue what it feels like. Mm -hmm. so, so more work, the better. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, please like this video and subscribe for more MMA news.